In order to answer this question, we have to review what necessitism and contingentism uh, mean. Necessitism is the view that the origin of life is determined. It is inevitable given the laws of physics and chemistry. And therefore, one would expect to find um, life throughout the universe because it's inevitable given the laws of physics and chemistry. C contingentism, by contrast, says that the origin of life on Earth is a highly, highly improbable event which depends upon a conspiracy of contingent conditions that just happened to be right on this planet, and therefore we shouldn't expect to find life anywhere else in the universe. Now, what is so fascinating about these two schools of thought, which are held by secular origin of life researchers, is that each school accuses the other of having surreptitious theological agendas or presuppositions, and that is anathema to these secularists. So this is taken to be a crushing objection to your opponent's view. With regard to necessitism, the contingentists say, you really believe that God has designed the universe to make life inevitable. He has written life into the very structure of the universe. And therefore, these necessitists are really closet creationists who believe that God has chosen this very special universe where the laws are fine-tuned to produce life somewhere in the universe. On the other hand, with respect to contingentists, the necessitists accuse the contingentists of believing in the existence of miracles because on their view, the origin of life is so improbable, it is in effect a miracle. And therefore, they accuse the contingentists of being closet creationists who are really positing a miracle to explain the origin of life. Now, the Christian theologian who explicitly believes in God cannot help but form a wry smile at these two secular schools of thought accusing each other of having this surreptitious theological agenda because we believe that God is ultimately behind the way the universe was constructed. Whether life is necessary or contingent, God will lie behind it. So, it is so fascinating to see the way the theological implications uh, come out even among the secular thinkers with regard to origin of life research.